With that, this is Welk here. I'm introducing to you the idea of the Hebrew Bazaar. The Hebrew Bazaar is a structure for us learning Hebrew together where different students can choose what types of activities they want to do to learn and deepen their Hebrew according to what their interests and goals are. And you'll notice that um, this chart um, off says start here in these different areas, and then it gives you a video introduction to each type of activity. There's this one, which is called the translation <laughs> activity. This is called famous words. This is called Mila Mancha art project, and this is divergent translations. Um, so what you should do is watch a couple of the videos to see which one you might want to do. Now, in short, just to explain what you'll be doing, just in two sentences, translation is about translating the text and then taking a quiz to test your translation. This one is for those of you who are very interested in working specifically on your Hebrew translation skills. The next one is famous words. And famous words is about taking out of the Parsha that we looked at, finding the words that have connections to other modern Hebrew words or Jewish culture or tefillah to help you create mnemonics or, uh, or help you learn mnemonics that will allow you to see those words popping up in Jewish life elsewhere, um, which help you to broaden your relationship to Hebrew. So ultimately you're learning some mnemonics and then you're being quizzed on the mnemonics. So translation is you make a translation and then you're quizzed on it. Famous words, you learn mnemonics and then you're quizzed. Mephoshim is a little bit different. With Mephoshim, um, you're more self-directed. Uh, I have links. Um, every time you see one of these black book things, it means that there are resources there. So Mephoshim, you go there and it tells you how to do it. Um, and for each unit, um, this is Harsinai, here's Golden Calf. Um, we're right now at the beginning of the year run Harsi and I for our first unit. It'll you'll open this and it'll bring you to Mephorshim on the Parsha. And then what's your activity? If you go here and do Mephorshim activity worksheet, it'll walk you through. So Mephorshim is learning some Mephorshim and doing a worksheet. So it's translation with quiz, um, study plus quiz, and um, do Mephorshim and do a worksheet. Parallels. Um, these are resources I have here as kind of a parking lot for now. Don't use them yet until I can figure out what to do with them. The next activity is called the Mila Mancha Art Project. This is for students who are more interested in design and less interested in learning, <coughs> excuse me, a lot of Hebrew. You're going to, you're going to find and locate keywords in the text that have thematic meaning. You're going to look for them elsewhere in the text. And then ultimately you're going to design an art piece and a write up exploring the deeper meanings of that word in a symbolic sense. So this is like sifting through the text, looking for repeated words, thinking about what the theme might be, and then creating art. Lastly is the divergent translation. And you'll notice here that there's a video for each one that tells you how to do it. So watch the video before you do it. In the divergent translation, you start with a partner, and you look for places where the translations disagree with each other, and there's links to translations. Um, you think about how those two translations differ, how the Hebrew confused, not confused them, how the Hebrew um, created challenges for translation, and then you write a mini essay outline. You don't write the full essay, just the outline on two of the areas where the translations diverge. So this one starts with partnership, and then you work on a mini outline on your own. So, um, one, two, three, four, five different activities. For each one, look at the color that corresponds to the unit we're in. For the Har Harsina unit is here, the Golden Calf unit is here, the Complaining Stories is here. You'll know which one you're in based on what text we just did. Be sure to watch the video first. And for each one, um, look for the resources in the black tile. That should get you most of the way to being clear. I'm sure you'll still have some questions. I'll be walking around helping you. Watch a couple of videos, choose which one you want to do, and get to work. One last thing I'll mention is we're doing this usually for uh, a week or two. It depends on where we are in the year. And sometimes I'll ask you for more than one credit. So the famous words quiz, you might have to do that plus something else. Um, I will, I'm going to be thinking about how that's going to work out. So just be aware that for the bazaar, you may have to do more than one. Okay. Translation, however, is always its own. Just want to point that out. Okay. Let's talk. Bye.